R. David Thomas. Orphan, dreamer, restaurateur, burgermeister, philanthropist, entrepreneur. Restaurants have provided Dave Thomas with sustenance, education, and opportunities. Although Dave was not born with a silver spoon in his mouth, it seems that he had an early taste for the restaurant business. Dave had a dream when he was eight that he would own the best restaurant in the world, that all of the customers would love his food and all employees would do what they were supposed to. This dream was probably influenced by his early experiences. Born and given up for adoption by his mother in 1932, Dave lost his stepmother at age five and moved frequently with his stepfather. From the time he was old enough to sit in a chair, Dave ate at restaurants with his stepfather. His first jobs included delivering groceries, working at a Walgreens soda counter, and tending the lunch counter at a Knoxville, Tennessee restaurant, all before he was 13. Where I really started was in Knoxville, Tennessee. How old were you? I was 12 years old. I lied my age. Just lost my job, and my dad, my uh, adopted dad, said that he was going to have to support me the rest of his life. And I took him real serious. And I'm kind of glad I did. I don't think he meant it as serious as I took him. And I got a job at the Regus restaurant, and I said, man, I'm going to keep this job. I'm going to work hard. And uh, I worked 12-hour shifts, and I just had a fantastic uh, beginning at the Regus restaurant. Dave was working at the Hobby House restaurant in Fort Wayne, Indiana, when he joined the Army at age 18. He started as a cook, then helped manage and vastly improve an enlisted men's club in Germany. After three and a half years in the service, Dave returned to the Hobby House in 1953 as the grillman. His first day back, he was introduced to the restaurant's new waitress, Lorraine Buskirk. She was a headstrong, no-nonsense Midwestern 18-year-old who soon had Dave's respect and interest. A year later, they were married. 